Hi, my name is Ben Hedges and I'm a SharePoint developer and instructor for Point8020. In this video I will demonstrate how to create a visual web part for SharePoint 2010 in Visual Studio 2010. The web part will use the standard ASP.NET tree view control to show information about interview events and candidates who attended those interviews. I will use two lists from the SharePoint site and I will join those lists using Link to SharePoint. Let me show you the lists in SharePoint that will be used. Here's the candidates list. It has three columns. Title column, the name column and home city. As you can see, I have a few candidates already created. Now let me browse to the list of interviews that have taken place. Here's the interviews list. I have a few interviews already configured. I will show you the candidate column in a little more detail as it links the interview list to the candidates list. I will use this column in Link to SharePoint to join information from both lists and display it in the visual web part. As I will be using Link to retrieve data from SharePoint, I will generate entity classes that will provide an object-oriented interface to that data. Microsoft provides a command line tool called SPMetal that can be used to simplify the creation of the entity classes. Let me locate SPMetal. I will construct the arguments from the command line. I need to provide the URL to my SharePoint site and the location for the file that SPMetal will generate. SPMetal will generate files for either C Sharp or VB. It will infer from the file extension that I specified that I want VB. There are other arguments you can pass to SPMetal, so do check those out if you have specific requirements. Now I will start building the visual web parts. I will create a VB project and from the project creation dialog I will click Visual Web Part. I will call my web part Interview Summary. Note that as I step through the wizard, I don't get an opportunity to deploy a Visual Web Part in a sandbox solution. This is because Visual Web Parts load a user control from the SharePoint root, and this is not allowed in a sandboxed environment. I need to add a reference to the SharePoint Link DLL, so I will do that now. Next, I will add the Entities file that I created with SPMetal. This contains some partial classes that override the data context. Now I will start building the visual web part. Using the design surface, I can drag and drop controls onto the web part. I will drag a tree view control. I will now add some code to populate the nodes of this tree view. I will right click the design surface and click view code. I will add import statements for microsoft.sharepoint.link and system.link. I will create a this web object and set it to spcontext.current.web. I will then create a data context called ctx that I will specify as a new entity's data context. Next, in my query, I will specify a simple link statement that queries the interviews from the data context. I will create a new implicitly typed object and then specify the information I want to return. I will specify the interviews.title and then look as I begin to specify the interview.candidate option. As I specify the column name, I can continue and retrieve information from the candidate list. This is very powerful and shows you the information from the join. I'll pick another item of information from the candidate list and one that isn't in the join field itself to show you a little more of what's going on here. This time I have the home city column. The join is allowing me to pull information from the linked list. I will add one more field from the interview list itself this time. I will now complete the coding by creating a for each loop and building up the tree nodes for the tree view. Let me add that code now. Fairly standard VB code here, just displaying the data from our link query. I will finish by specifying a different category for my visual web part. 
I will edit the element.xml file and change the group to recruitment. I will deploy the code. And now let me add the visual web part to my page. The web part is in the recruitment category. And you can see the visual web part has returned data from the joined list using link to SharePoint.